Come on now. We all know the one. Uh. Big city life in the heart of the waves. Right now, Babylon did on the gates. Big city life. Right. Enough of that shit. That wasn't supposed to be playing right now, but that's just how we're going to start the video this week. Because it's a mad ting, sad ting, a real bad ting. Alright. Let's get that shit off, because let's be honest, it's fucking weird and embarrassing. But anyway, welcome to another. Ben Windsor TV 2 video. It is the last video of 2017 and boy do we have a special video for you today. What we're doing is we're going through this pile of random shit here and I'm going to pick out some of my favourite pieces from 2017. Um, in all honesty I haven't even bothered ironing most of this shit so don't expect anything special. My room's still a shithole. I'm about to go out in an hour you know so I'm pretty busy but I'm going to go through some bits now and it's just a general sort of cop them if you can I'm sure you could find some of this online and they're mad fresh so anyway I'm going to get started um, from this mad pile of selection here and what have we got? we have got some Nike Air Max trackies now I know what you guys are saying you haven't even bothered ironing them I know but look at this is that just not your old school gangster gear? I'm a gangster grandpa and I'm proud of it <clears throat> It's got the fucking laces there. The quality on these is unreal. They're sort of these new kind of wave of tracksuit trousers that are actually tight fitting. They're kind of like lycra. Um, but they're just really fresh. Um, they're the first ones I got. I, I picked those up in Amsterdam, uh, I think it was last month. And I just thought they were like about £70 equivalent. But I thought, well, they're sort of Amsterdam fresh. You're not going to get many like that. Um, about so that's the first item on there the next item that we have is actually a t-shirt which again I haven't bothered to iron but it's a Nike t-shirt I picked this up near Times Square in New York when I went there a few months ago I think that was September and it's just really fresh it's a classic Nike tee but I, what really stood out to me stood out for me on this one was just the design and it's a bit different to what you get in the UK and that was about £30 equivalent, something like that. But just look at that design on the back. That is... It's just fresh, isn't it? It's just an absolute fresh thing. So shut your fucking mouths. You don't know what you're talking about. You'll do nothing. You'll do fucking nothing. Not one of you will do nothing. Get the fuck out of here! Uh, I don't know what, what I'm talking about either, because I'm... I, was, I thought that was going to come across as kind of like Conor McGregor, but... It just came across sounding a little bit weird. Um, and now... <coughs> oh, fuck. Ugh. Way too ill to be doing this shit. Um, now the next item that we've got now is a jacket, as we can see here. Now, this is kind of your classic going out leisure wear sort of jacket. Good for suit kind of thing. Goes on top of that. Nice and good. And the thing with this jacket is it's actually a ladies jacket. I was in Paris when I picked this up and I was just kind of going through some stores with this girl that I met over there in the hostel. And um, she was like, yeah, just pick it up. It was about 45 euros, dead cheap for a suit jacket. And it's a Stad Stadivarius, Stadivarius. I'm not sure if my European watches, if I do have any, or even, in, even know about that brand. But uh, it, what it was, it's kind of like, um, like the European top shop, is the best way I can explain it. But anyway, onwards and upwards, on to the next item. And we have this Nike sportswear thing. Now, this was picked up again in New York and I think I got this in Foot Locker it's just a fresh piece it's caught sort of a jumper jumper but sort of uh, t-shirt like at the same time and I just really like the colours on there the turquoise and yellow dope as shit um, the next piece was actually a present um, I just got this like a week ago and it's a football top um, and obviously the lighting is affecting all this as well so it's not orange or anything it is a red football top and again my friend um, Luke, that's a graphic designer, got this for me. He'd just been travelling around like Thailand, Cambodia, all the, the usual jazz. And just look at all the logos everywhere. That's why I really like this one. It's got logos all over it, which look quite fresh. And I just thought that's quite a chill top. I'll probably end up using that as a sort of like a bedtime pyjama top. But the team, if anyone is interested, is Mwang Fong United. Come on, you fucking reds. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not sure. This could be an away kit, so I might be wrong there. But you know, up the man, Wang Fong. Um, next piece as well. The the fact that I haven't even bothered to button these is just outrageous. Um, this is the New York Yankees away jersey, not the official one because the official ones are like two hundred and fifty dollars. This is what you call the official replica. Um, and I was actually in Yankee Stadium watching the Yankees against the Baltimore Orioles. Um, and I was going to get one there, but they're like $155. So I went just outside. Um, there's this little shop in the Bronx. And uh, they did it for about $55 because this guy, apparently, Belshan, doesn't play for the Yankees anymore. And finally, just a few small items. I've got like a, a wavy sort of scarf and that. It's like basically a classic Burberry scarf. That was the next wave, $5 in Paris. I got some weed thing with Made in China on it. That was pretty gangster. Um, that's put it on there. And then finally, just kind of these trousers, classic Czech trousers. Great for work, great for going into the office. And that's effectively it. I'm not really sure kind of what this video was today, guys. Um, I don't know what I'll call it as well. Maybe I'll call it Gangsterness 2018, 2017. Gangster Gear 2017 for shizness. It's been your boy B Wizzle anyway and I'd like to thank everyone for watching uh, this year. If you haven't already done so please subscribe and I'll be definitely back with more videos in 2018. Peace out. Biatches. Actually no. Just peace out. Cheers. Cheers for watching guys. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>